Here I'd like to show tone mode. So I've already configured my jumper so that the speaker is connected to the microprocessor. That's why you don't hear anything until it starts up. And even then, uh, you won't hear too much when it's in background, just some low tones. So the idea is, is that the lower the activity, the lower the tone. Okay, so once in a while you get a spike. Now the thing about tone mode is, is that it works off of the same counter as the bar graph, which uh, uh, increments uh, very quickly, so it's very responsive. So I've got a piece of thorite way out here, about a foot away at this point. And you can already tell that there's something there. And as I move it in closer, say six inches, you'll hear the tone increase. Until it maxes out. Now keep in mind this is a SBM20 tube, uh, which isn't a very sensitive tube. If you have something like a, uh, an alpha tube or uh, even a scintillation tube, um, you're going to get much, much more uh, response at a distance. I've been told that uh, you can detect a uh, thorate pebble at about three feet and that's what a scintillation tube. Okay, so the other feature about tone is the null button. So let's say we're in an area where we're getting about this much activity and we want to be sensitive to higher uh, amounts of activity than that. So I'm going to press this null button And what's happened is that the tone has been reset, so now this is the new low end. So as I move this closer, and again if I press the null button, it's back to null. And that's basically it.